might have gotten rid of it. Oh no, no cardinal. <gasps> Welcome Virginia, cardinal Virginia is for lovers. Where is Cardinal Richelieu? They replaced this the cardinal. This is wrong. They the cardinal's supposed to be there. To greet us. Maybe Cardinal Richelieu has gotten camouflaged, so now Cardinal Richelieu cannot be seen. No, I think Cardinal Richelieu is, is in true hiding. Because the Cardinal is always watching. For that me. pisses me off though, that Cardinal is the best thing about crossing that bridge. Ned. I am the Terminator. These aren't my sunglasses. Apparently I left my sunglasses at uh, Megan Joe's place. But we are in North Carolina now. And we are almost to Myrtle Beach, which is where we're heading. Uh, we'll be there for a week. Caleb's getting gas right now. We had stopped for lunch. We left at 7 this morning, and we're making pretty good time, which I think is partly because we're leaving on a Friday. Saturdays tend to be worse. We're going to be there with Meg and Joe, and Meg doesn't really like to be filmed much, so um, I'm probably not going to put much footage of her to respect that. Caleb doesn't really like being filmed either, but he's a good sport about it, so... Okay, back on the road. People who live in uh, South Carolina and those of us who have to drive south to get to Myrtle Beach all know that there's this thing you start seeing when you're about 105, 110 miles away from the border between North and South Carolina that's called South of the Border. It's really bizarre, but there's a sombrero and there's one of the billboards. They have a ton of them. I've never been. I have been going to Myrtle Beach for 20 years and it's been there at least as long. It has been there all the time. And uh, I remember when we first saw it and thought, I thought it was the creepiest looking little theme park in my life. But apparently, uh, I guess they've made some improvements over it because I do remember 10 years ago all of a sudden it looked like it had more life to it. And uh, now it's become one of those kind of bizarre attractions that people stop at and have fun. So maybe one day, We'll stop and check it out, but I still think it's the most bizarre thing ever. <laughs> it's got a, like a million stores. They have got some world import store, cigar store, yeah, liquor store. Wow, that's... To, yeah, they actually wow, they really have improved it. It's come a long way since 20 years ago when it looked abandoned and apparently wasn't. So. <laughs> Yeah, so now we're in South Carolina, but um, I just thought I would share that little piece of Southern culture. All right, we have arrived finally. It is five o'clock. We did run into a little bit of traffic, but this is my mother's condo. Lovely little place. Uh, she bought it last year, I wanna say, and so now we get to use it. But we've actually been coming to Myrtle Beach, like I said earlier, for 20 years. So uh, we started, coming when uh, I was about to turn seven. It was the summer I was turning seven. And there's this lovely, lovely view. It does have a netting, which um, I guess would bother some people. It doesn't really bother us, but it's of course to keep birds from uh, landing up here and you know making a mess of the deck. So I figure the netting is a necessary evil. But, but again, it really doesn't bother me. Oh, the beach. Oh, the Caleb. <laughs> oh, the beach. Now this is like perfect cloud coverage for me. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I ordered a jumbo margarita. I don't even know if that's really plain or It's more like a bowl of soup, but after the day I've had, this works for me. Sergio with Caleb. Margarita. Joe's representing Valentina hot sauces. Woo! It's actually a picante sauce. It's more like a tomato sauce. All right, rain on our parade, and Caleb. We well, it's, what, it's right. what they have for the chips. That was, <laughs> that was like perfect. I zoomed in on your face. <laughs> There you go, Valentina. Hot sauce for you. Yes. Absolutely. Stop it. Stop it. It is day two. And we are sitting out on our beach. A 
That's right, our beach. <laughs> very, very happy to be here. Beach ready, in the shade. Um, one thing I did forget to explain yesterday, that first clip with uh, Cardinal Richelieu, that got started 10 years ago, the first time that I ever took Caleb here as a road trip. He'd been here before, but he took the, the plane. So the first road trip we made, he hadn't really done a lot of road trips before, and uh, every time you would go into Virginia, there'd be this painting of a cardinal, which is their state bird, just kind of peering at you with this creepy big eye. And he commented on it and thought, oh, that cardinal is watching you, and then he became known to us as Cardinal Richelieu. And it looks like Virginia's gotten rid of their cardinals now. But we're waiting for Megan Joe to come out here. They're getting their stuff together. And it's probably what we're gonna do all day. Palmetto moonshine. No, 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 the drink. No, it's just a palmetto moonshine. Oh, you just got glass. the palmetto. Yes, because we kept seeing those um, those advertisements for it. So how is it? It's smooth. He's right. There's definitely some corn flavor in there. And technically, you did get it from a blonde. From what? A blonde. Like in the Milbert boards. Well, I suppose I did. We walked over to the pier and got our drink. Like it's probably going to thunderstorm, which is too bad because it's a nice view from here. 